whom I convinced to come and shoot the video with me. He's finally here and not only that, but we also experienced the Russian wedding and the Russian seaside experience, no? Yes, da. How was Could it? Yet. Um, it's extreme here in Russia. Everything. Everything you, is extreme. You have uh, everywhere you look, on the streets and at the wedding, you have uh, the extreme highs and lows. And we had not only here the experience of this Russian culture and Russian people around, but also quite some learning of Russian for him and still quite some learning of German for myself. Um, and friends and relatives always ask us what are the funniest words for you, what are the most difficult for you and that's why today we decided to share, no? Yes, uh, we thought we'd start with Umlaute because she has quite some problems with uh, Ü and U. Yeah, for me they sound not exactly the same but when he says them just separate, not in the word, they sound quite distinguishable for me. So, u and u, I, I think I even can do that more or less. But in the word itself, in the speech, it's really difficult for me to distinguish. And especially when you have the two words that are just different because of the umlaut and the rest is the same. No? Yeah, I guess your favorite example is drucken and drücken. Shit, that sounded exactly the same for me. Okay, drücken and drücken, more or less? Yes. Okay, so, and drücken was to print, no. Drücken is to print. Drücken. Drücken, drücken is either to push, push. no, drücken yeah. is to push, okay. Or you can jemanden drücken. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's really... You should be careful with those words, I guess this is not the most severe mistake that you can make uh, but still, you can, you, maybe you want to say to print something and then you say drücken and then whom should I push or yes. something like this. And the same one, just one letter or just two letters in the word are uh, different and then you pronounce them and especially in the faster speech it's difficult not only in German, English or whatever but also in Russian for him. So the words like девочка and Dievushka, he says they're not distinguishable, though <laughs> they are the same. No, they're not the same. <laughs> so for any Russian person, they're for sure two different words because you have Dievushka, that's like like a, a girl more, and Dievushka, it's actually also a girl but more grown up one. So a small like a child, you or the baby even, you can ask uh, who is that, the boy or girl, and then you will say Dievushka, not yeah. Dievushka. I guess the Dievushka is something like. Uh, Depends, um, I think 14, 15, 16 and further can be already Dievushka and it can continue till, uh, depending on how polite you want to be because maybe you want to be a very polite and even for, your, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years old, whatever, you want to be polite and then you say Dievushka. It's for sure obvious when I hear all the Russian people around me that for them those are two very distinct words and they are always smiling when I try to distinguish them and That's use true. them, but uh, for me they are the same. When I say Diebushka yeah. and Diebushka... No, no, you just said two times Diebushka with V. Try Diebushka with the small one. Diebushka. And Diebushka is a big one. Diebushka. Yeah, now it was good. Now it's true in a row. The Die small one. Diebushka. No, no, the small one and the big one. Diebushka. Yeah, uh, they were again the same. The small one is <laughs> Dievochka. Dievochka. Uh huh. The other one? Dievochka. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You will work on it and you can do that perfectly good. Um, and one more thing that is very difficult for me is actually any word that has in it. Uh, because we have in Russian, but somehow it's pronounced a bit from the different part of the throat or something or just have it in a different place in a different uh, letter combination uh, but something like uh, Behehen Behehen It's really difficult for me to pronounce and they have a lot of this Hen because it's diminutivo, no? So you end Often, yes. Hen at the end and that What was the Behehen not diminutivo? Beche Beche Still difficult but when you have Behehen it's becoming even more difficult to pronounce. Yeah. Or your favorite word 
in the German language? Oh my dear. Oh my. I, I still cannot do that. You can do that. Einhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. You remember Einhörnchen is unicorn? Einhörnchen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the, the, good, the good thing words. is, this is not the most uh, used word in German language, no. I guess, but still. By the way, it's squirrel for the people that don't know. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a squirrel. Eichhörnchen? Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> when you focus too much on it. Eichhörnchen. That was better. Okay, the, 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 the main goal for me is not to focus on pronunciation, Dan. He says it's better or he just is just like, oh, I want her to stop <laughs> pronouncing that. So I will just say that it's better. Uh, anyway, yeah, all the words. And sometimes he tries to correct me and I'm like, <laughs> no, nothing comes. I'm afraid that she hyperventilates that. And <laughs> then I say for sure it's okay because it's okay, I want stop. her to stop. Don't faint. And uh, the good thing is I'm not learning Dutch because in Dutch he said, they yeah, they have the deep. Yeah. They have even more different kinds. More. Yeah, even more yeah. different kinds of them. Good that I'm not living in. I'm not going to live in the Netherlands, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? And the letters they are they are different for different languages and for different people. It's also not easy. Uh, and the letter is U. It's quite a specific one, and it gets difficult for pronounce to pronounce for most of the people who are learning Russian. For me, it sounds a bit like a seal. Ui. Seal. Ui. Oh, you mean like the seal sound? Yeah. Like, uh, 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 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but the letter is U, and uh, uh, I have the other video where I explain some of the Russian letters that are really interesting, and uh, they have quite a nice explanation of um, how to learn to pronounce it. You remember? the samurai example uh, so if you want to watch it uh, you're welcome and now please we'll try e pronunciation Mui. Mui. that was quite Mui. good Mui. Mui me means we oui. um, Mui. 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 we are ready uh, the other one we just learned some days ago was um, when we were washing the dishes so um, to oh, yeah, wash that the one dishes to wash the dishes was yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one is actually more difficult than me. I guess yeah. because me you're already using for quite some time, so you get used to that now. I guess that's the same for all of us language learners, but in a language you also have sometimes that you are not sure if you hear a new word or if that is belonging to the word or if there is a word in between. They are connected because you are speaking fast and everything is just like smashed together. Yeah, no? yeah big smash. <laughs> and it's many times really difficult when you start to learn the language. Uh, you mix up all the words that start from the same letter or that contain the same letter. Oh yeah, it's a lot. really difficult. And in German there are a lot of psh words. Uh, it's either in the beginning or in the middle. Just, just, in, just yesterday I think I encountered uh, the new word for me, the, the, the word was a forehead and it was Stirn. Stirn. And I was like, yeah, but you have the star that sounds approximately the same, no? Or exactly the same. But Stern. Stern and Stirn. Yeah, wir malen dir mal einen Stern auf die Stirn. Dann kannst du dir das merken. No, please. No, no stars on my forehead uh, drawing. I don't want them. But uh, yeah, and it was um, Schwamm, that was the sponge. And um, Vision, that was to, to, to remove dust, no? Yeah, more Vision? like to, to clean the dust. Clean. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. just many times all these sh words are just the whole one big mass of sh <laughs> words in my head and then I cannot distinguish Especially that. when they're in a sentence, more words with sh. I have the feeling that it becomes for you very soon a sh 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 I hope, I hope, I hope not, but... I hope not, <laughs> still I hope not. And uh, uh, as well in the beginning, early on, it was so difficult for me and I guess it's still difficult for me when you have something like erzählen, uh, zahlen, zählen, and they are all the different words with different meanings, though some of them are connected now, somehow a bit. Yeah. Zahlen was to pay, zahlen, exactly. zählen was to count, yeah. and erzählen was to, to tell. Exactly. 
Okay, good. Now there's more or less in my hand, but still <laughs> not really. Good job. And what was the difficult uh, one letter words for you this week? Oh, this week for sure, the P words. P words. We had uh, Pachimu, mm -hmm. Patamushto, mm -hmm. and. I understand. Pa Pachimu? Mm -mm. No. I understand. Panimayo. 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 Oh, yeah. They all start with P, so. I guess for all the Russian speaking people, those are really distinguished words that are very different. But in my head, it's always when I think about, oh, it was a word with P, and then one of those three randomly comes up, and I think, that's it. And then yeah. I hear from one of the Russian people around me, no. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess that's for any, any language. The words that yeah. start with one letter, they are confusing. The same was for us studying Spanish. Quite yeah. a lot of the words they were just the same, but then you figured it out. The most important part, I guess, is not to uh, stress a lot about that, no? And just to keep calmly learning, yeah. continuing the way. I guess the sentence I tell myself in the last week the most is, um, just accept it. It is, this just for you now, the same sounding word, and try to hear it 10 more times, and hopefully by then you understand Repetition it. Repetition helps, no? And yeah. also associations, no? Associations oh, yeah. help to distinguish. And I already told that in my videos, but whatever stupid association you can find that works for you is a good one. Yes. Uh, he had the problems with the, the, the numbers, so uh, from 1 to 8 were really good, okay, no? Yeah. But 9 and 10, they were quite close for him sounding. David, 10, is 9 and 10. And uh, the association that I created was, just imagine the snake, and the snake is making sound and then just put in your head that the snake is number 10 and then you remember that in 10 you have this yeah i remember how you told me that i like snakes so snake is the 10 snake and is just the, top. the other one is the nine yeah so, so. they set with s, they that without s, without snake it sounds maybe a little bit not so professional but it works it works this is the main point that works so our advice just Try to use associations as much as possible. Whatever comes to your mind. Or combine it to words that you already know from whatever language and... Uh... Even further, I think the funniest and more um, unrealistic is the association, yeah. the better it works. And uh, one more problem, I guess. Not a problem, nothing is a really a big problem, but in German there are a lot of long words. And they consist of many, many parts. And though I'm amazed every time how logic is the, um, the consistency there, uh, and I've already made a video about that, I think even on some videos about this amazing thing, how you can construct the word. But then to pronounce it, especially fast, and to hear it in the conversation becomes a difficult one. And um, I remember that was already in Spain, no? In our yes. kitchen uh, in Cadiz that we ask you what is the difficult German word to pronounce and you chose the long one, no? What yeah, was the word? we had, I think, Streichholzschechtelchen. Uh, even with diminutivo, Streichholzschechtelchen. Yeah. By now you're really By good. By now that's good, but uh, I laughed a lot and we all, three of Russian girls who were just trying to repeat it and that was for sure unsuccessful. The best thing, we all had a lot of fun. That, that's really the best part of it. And uh, just yesterday I got my another new favorite long word <laughs> and I'm really not sure I still can pronounce it good, so... Try it. Mindest... 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 Datum. Mindesthaltbarkeitsdatum. 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 <laughs> okay, the, 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 I think... Ich glaube, man kann auch sagen, Minimum Haltbarkeitsdatum. Minimum Haltbarkeitsdatum. That's, that's ich better. weiß nicht, ob das wirklich so offiziell ist, aber... <laughs> you're already speaking German, that's okay. If you understand German, that's good for you. For those who don't understand, don't worry, you also don't understand everything. Uh, yeah, but this word is uh, the one that you use every now and then, no? Probably. Yeah, in the shop it's uh, on everything that has an expiry date. Yeah, that's an expiry date in English. <sighs> I guess a yeah. lot of more um, long German words for me to learn. In yeah, future. but you're doing a good job and oh, you're getting used you. to them. Yeah, it's, um, it's less frightening, I should say. It's less yeah. frightening for sure uh, at this point. And in Russian, I, I don't think we have such long words, no? No, but I think it's for every language learner, it's again the same. When you have a long word, it's intimidating. You're like, what mm. the fuck, so many letters and 
they are combined and then you have a letter in between that you don't understand so good. Yeah, I remember just today, today the word was Niverayatna. Niveranaya. 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 Uh, see, this is a long <laughs> one, so it's also more difficult to repeat even when you hear it a lot. And that means like incredible or uh, also can be translated as impossible. Um, so you can add it like incredibly tasty. Niveranaya. 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 Good. Yeah. yeah, so uh, as you Maybe see. Maybe I will remember it now, who knows? Maybe. As you see, we have a lot to learn and work on, but this is our goal, and we want to continue learning each other languages and improve our English. And just life with yeah. languages is just more interesting one, no? It's amazing. I enjoy it every day to just look at the languages. I expected never to say that but it's really a lot of fun especially when you start to see uh, patterns details, and connections yeah. and for example understanding through language that Russian and German are quite more related than I ever thought even the Russian is more related to German than to English that's what we already can say now for sure yeah so just continue learning languages and try to find the, this, you know, enjoyment in each lesson, even though sometimes it's difficult and you are frustrated by learning, just yeah. the good is, the, the fun is there. You just need to find it and... Yeah, just make it fun. Just make it we, fun for yourself. We now try to have randomly through the day language sessions, sometimes just speaking some sentences, yeah. sometimes just asking a word, what's that? What's, what's that? that? How do you say that? Or um, we use your whiteboard and yeah. have a small language session in the evening with some repetition. And yeah, but that's really a big advantage that now we live for some time together again and we can practice uh, through the day. When you don't have a, such a luxury to have a native speaker next to you, I guess it's a bit more difficult to practice languages. Yeah. But still there are ways, no? Of there course. There are always ways. I even heard about a lot of people that do language exchange where you talk with sure. a foreigner uh, in their language and then in your language. So both of you learn and yeah. you make even connections. That's amazing, no? That's great. I guess we are already rumbling quite a lot at the end, but <laughs> yeah. we're just fans of rumbling more or less. I, but we try to minimize it now. Yeah. Especially in the videos. <laughs> okay, we all wish you, we all wish you, we're just two people. Yeah. We just wish you uh, to continue learning languages and to enjoy it to the max now. Just have fun, boys and girls. <laughs>